He's back in action on International Women's Day, a dad with three daughters. Hey, Daddy B, how's it going? Hey, 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 it's me, Daddy B, right back at you. Back at it again. We need something other than the white vans because you don't wear white vans. Oh, did you hear about the vans challenge? As a matter of fact, I saw it firsthand. Your brother uh, did it, and uh, absolutely. Are you talking about when you flip the vans in the air, they always land properly? Yeah. It's amazing. It's uh, it's a medical Mir- mystery. <laughs> miracle. <laughs> um, first of all, so it worked for him. It absolutely worked every single time, and uh, it's probably the only thing that your brother's been able to accomplish in 2019. Stop. <laughs> That's funny because when I watched it on Twitter, and I didn't know my brother did this. I hope he filmed it. I'd love to see it because on Twitter, it's 50-50. Hmm. Some people are saying, no, they don't always land right side up. What are you talking about? And then other people are going hard and fighting for it. And then it got even more heated because Crocs got introduced into the battle. Wow, Crocs. Well, things never go well when Crocs are introduced. Oh, no. To Here the we mix. go. Hey, um, what's going on with the weather? I know, right? Is it spring? Is it winter still? I quite honestly don't know. I'm sick of it. Can somebody just make a decision? Yes. You know, I think we have to spring forward this weekend. Do we? We do. So we're going to be losing an hour. Oh, And it's going to be like six degrees on Sunday and nine degrees on Thursday and then plummet again. What's going on? Well, I heard that towards the end of March, it's officially going to switch and it's going to be warm after that. So no spring. So it's winter to summer. Winter to no summer. Spring. Fast forward. It's going to wow. be warm temperatures. Mm. But here, I don't know, because on Tuesday, it was so hard reporting the weather because I would look at the radar, I would look outside, and it would be clear. Mm. And then I would open my mouth, and I would look out the corner of my eye. It would be blizzarding. Yes, uh, something's something's not right. I don't know what's going on. I, uh, I don't know either, but you know what? We're just going to have to power through it. So if you leave the house, bring your winter coat, bring your winter boots, but also have a lighter jacket, have some spring shoes. Just put them in your trunk. Hope for the best. Eventually it'll warm up, right? Hey, so what are we talking about this week? So Wait, before you get into that, I want to ask you one question. Oh, so what did you even (laughs) ask? (laughs) What are your thoughts on traffic circles? You know the uh, roundabouts? Oh, Dad. Do you have anything to say about that? Because I think they're magic. You know... We have one just outside of the studio here that seems to not make too many people lost, but the one at Bloomington and 48 That's is a, literally beautiful. Yeah, but it's kind of scary for me just because there's so many big trucks and I'm not used to driving with big trucks, but I don't mind roundabouts. They are a controversial topic in this area, I will say. Are they? They're yeah, some you either love them or you hate them. I don't mm. I haven't really run into too many people who are very impartial towards them. Right. I personally don't mind them. I'd like to find more areas to put them in. It's amazing. I mean, you don't have to stop for a red light. You just have to yield to your left. True. Nothing could be easier. Have you seen drivers? I know, but (laughs) it just takes a little bit of time to get used to it. And then people are, uh, people are old hat at it. You know, it's been around since the sixties. Has it? I have to say though, hold on. The roundabout outside the Scugog Memorial Library in the Port Perry Marina. Right. I think that is the dumbest place for a roundabout. Just because it's not really traveled that often, it might as well be a four-way stop. I just feel like it takes up a lot of space and it's not necessary. But it's not hurting anybody at the same time either. So I guess it can stay. Right. That one I forgot about. That's like the... That's like the... It's just a random one. Random one that doesn't really make a lot of sense. And they really don't clean it up either. They don't make it pretty inside or they don't do anything with it. So... And, and, I, and I understand that a lot of the uh, guys hauling their boats have trouble getting around it. Yeah, because you have to go down to the launch right. through the roundabout right? because we don't travel with a boat often. I never think of that. But now just knowing, yeah, that's a pain in the butt for boat owners. Definitely. I think we should get a boat. Why not get a boat? Your mother won't let me get a boat. She's afraid uh, you, I'll Do you know how much it money something? it costs to fill up a boat with gas? It is incredible. And the amount of, you have to really clean them. You well, have I, to, then I'm out. Then I'm out. I, I don't want to be cleaning It's anything. a lot of responsibility to, to maintain a boat. Not interested. Do you know it was your sister's birthday yesterday? Yes. But and, was it really your baby sister's birthday yesterday? You know, we've been torturing her since birth <laughs> that we don't know when her birthday is, that I'm actually thinking that I don't remember what actual day her birthday is. No, her actual birthday was yesterday. 
And that was the seventh. That was the seventh. Because I could swear it's the sixth now. No, 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 no. Her birthday is the seventh, and hopefully she's not listening because you know she's going to get really upset with you saying that. How old is she now, actually? She's 21. Oh, 21. A eh? big 21. Wow. She's an adult now, I guess. Taylor. Dad. Let's talk about the Oscars. All right. Let's they were, talk what, about last it. week or so? Yes. Is that a, a big ago. thing with your age group? I mean, have, have the have these kind of shows lost their shine? Does anybody care? Does anybody under 40 care about any kind of award shows these days? Honestly, I don't personally care for it. And I can't tell you, I can't name you any of my peers that I know were eager to watch the Oscars right, or any kind of award show for that matter, because we just see all the highlights in the media the next day. So why sit there for three hours and consume a show like that when mm. what we want to see, we're going to be able to see in a shorter clip the next day. Now, what you just said there was really encapsulates youth today. Mm -hmm. The kids would rather watch Sports Center and see the highlights than actually sit down and watch a game. Like uh, life is moving so quick that we just have these little sound bites and it goes right past us. Uh, but they did some actually pretty cool things. They, they didn't have a host this year. They just kind of organically let it roll. So that saved about 45 minutes because all the bad jokes didn't have to be said. And, uh, you know, Queen opened the show. How with, did you feel about that? With Adam Lambert as the lead singer. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's been um, filling in for Freddie for a few years now uh, on the road with Queen. And, yeah, I thought it was okay. It wasn't great. Um, of course, I'm partial to Mark Martell. <laughs> okay, he's a, here we he, go. He's, yeah, I know. You know me. I, I find these people. But check out Mark Martell on the, on the YouTube He's a Canadian and he sounds exactly, exactly, mind you, like Freddie Mercury. As a matter of fact, um, the guys at Queen had already had Adam Lambert on their docket and they found this guy and he's actually doing the official Queen extravaganza that tours, you know, like a cover band that tours. Cool. He is so amazing. You won't even believe it. And he's Canadian. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the movie... Bohemian Rhapsody that did so well at uh, the Oscars, a lot of the um, a lot of the soundtrack um, that looked like it was the lead lead actor doing it was actually this Mark Martell because he sounds so much like Freddie Mercury. It's unbelievable. Cool. Check him out. You have to check him out. Mark Martell, a Mark Canadian. Mm-hmm. And what about Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper? Yeah, it was good. Star is Born. I guess you've never seen that movie. I saw it. Did you? Yes, I did. And did you enjoy it? It was okay. Did you know it was a remake? Uh, yes, three times. Three separate times. How did you know that? Did I already tell you that? Most <laughs> no. people think it's just in 1976, a remake from uh, Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson, but it was 1954 with Judy Garland and all the way back in 1937. So I'm kind of glad it didn't win Best Picture because I don't think a remake times three should really qualify. Win Best Picture, mm -hmm. yeah. I like their performance. It was it was cool. I I don't know. I just feel like it's so overhyped now mm -hmm. that it almost loses some of that specialness for me because right. I'm already expecting it to be special. That's the biggest issue. You don't want to ever watch or listen to anything before you see it live or see it uh, at the movie theater because it just takes your expectation to a spot that you just can't enjoy it now. And that was my problem. I was sitting there watching it because I did watch it. And I just kind of was like, okay, so they didn't introduce themselves. There's some lights. The piano went together. Cool. Now they're singing. Okay, Bradley Cooper's vocals are really not there, but it's still kind of cool. Okay, it's over. Right. They're in love. Oh, but they're not in love. Okay, done. You know, right, it, that's right. the way my brain went with it. Maybe other people really appreciated it, but that's just my perspective. When I watched it, I was kind of like, it's a, it's a great song. They have great chemistry, but... Mm -hmm. It's so overhyped for me now that I'm just, mm, whatever. You're over it. I'm over You're it. You're over it before it happened. Yep. Well, speaking about, um, you said it was International Women's Day today, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Are you going to finally play a song that I want you to play that may not be on the, on the playlist for 105.5 Hits FM? Yes, I feel as though I will play it as long as you give people the introduction as to why we are playing this song. Now, there's a song by Brandy Carlisle called The Joke. 
and Brandy Carlisle won, won a bunch of uh, Grammys this year. This song, it's I Am Just In Love With It. And uh, it's really a song about empowerment. Uh, and it speaks to people who feel unloved and illegal or unrepresented in today's society. And it's just really, really powerful. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for coming in, Dad. This is Brandy Carlisle with The Joke. You're feeling nervous, aren't you, boy? With your quiet voice and impeccable style. Don't ever let them steal your joy And your gentle ways To keep them from running wild They can kick dirt in your face Dress you down and tell you That your place is in the middle When they hate the way you shine I see you tugging on your shirt Trying to hide inside of it And hide how much it hurts Let them live for a while again Let them spin Let them skitter in the wind I have been to the moon Don't you, girl? It's your brother's world for a while longer. You gotta dance with the devil on a river to beat the stream. Call it living the dream. Call it kicking the ladder. They come to kick dirt in your face to call you weak. Place you have to carry in your baby on your back across the desert. I saw your eyes behind your hair, and you're looking tired, but you don't look scared. 